Hey guys, it's Garage Dealer Vaughn here, and this is part two of the miscellaneous uh, three weeks of things that I picked up. I'm going to start off with the uh, suits that I got. Um, so this is black jacket and pants by Hugo or Hugo Boss, and um, paid twelve dollars for both of them, and my estimate is a hundred and twenty dollars. The next one is a Brooks Brothers suit, uh, made in Italy. Paid $12 for this, the matching jacket and pants, and my Smith is $65. And then this is just the jacket because there were no matching pants, and this is Imani Uomo, and I paid $6 just for the jacket, and my estimate is that it will probably sell for somewhere around $150. And here is the next thing. It is a Patagonia shirt. And it's in really great shape. Paid $4 for it. And my estimate is it's going to sell for $22. Next thing is a pair of Billabong shorts. And they're size 30, used condition. I paid 2 bucks. And my estimate is that they're going to go for $22. Uh, this is Billabong. And next is pretty cool. Uh, I got matching pants and jacket. And these are a double XL. This is like an athletic suit for like playing basketball, like a track suit. Um, so it's the pants and the jacket I got for $12. And um, they are both brand new with the tags. Uh, they got the tags here. Uh, here is what the Nike tag looks like. Uh, so for the pair, my estimate is that it's going to go for around $85. So that was a really cool find, and hopefully I get that much. And next I have another track suit. This is a woman's Puma pants and jacket. Uh, as you can see, it's like white and blue, but mostly black. These are size medium. I paid $10 for these two, and my estimate's only $35. Thought I was gonna be able to get a little bit more, but still not bad. Here's the next thing, it is a hat. It's uh, flat because I've had stuff sitting on it, but this is a like green gray hat and this is made by the company diesel um, here's the tag in here and uh, size 11 um, and this khaki hat I think is going to sell for around $30 and I paid only $2 for it next thing I got two pairs of uh, swim trunks um, these are the brand BC uh, and they are used but still in pretty good shape and um, my estimate for these is $15 while this one right here is by the brand Rip Curl and uh, they're in really good shape and my estimate for these is $22 next thing is a pair of Hurley shorts and they're in really good shape Here's the tag inside, Hurley. Yeah, the inside, yeah, they're in really good shape. And uh, pay two dollars for these, and my estimate is that they're gonna go for around twenty dollars. Next thing is a big old Nike extra large jacket, and uh, God, I think I paid six dollars for it. Seems like a lot, and kind of was because um, it's only gonna sell for around twenty-five dollars. So uh, thought it was going to sell for a little bit more, but oh well. It's in pretty good shape. A uh, little bit of like slight stain marks on like the white, but still pretty good shape. Has no issues. Next thing that I got is this Perry Ellis v-neck sweater. Here is the tag. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Pretty soft. Paid two dollars for it. My estimate is eighteen dollars. You get the brand Perry Ellis at like Nordstrom's or uh, similar stores like that. Not sure how to say this name, so I will just show you guys the tag. But this is a golfing polo. Um, oh, inspected by Barb. Interesting. So yeah, it's a uh, brand new. Has the tag right here. Um, with a price of $198 and that is definitely not what it's worth anymore but it's brand new and I think I'm going to be able to sell it for like $35 and I paid $4 for it. 
Next thing I got is this uh, pair of Nike's women's pants. Uh, athletic pants. And paid six bucks and my estimate is sixteen dollars. So I have this Abercrombie and Fitch muscle uh, large dress shirt and it's yellow and uh, as you can see there are a couple stains on it um, so I got this for free actually um, because the lady's like oh there's stains I'm just going to give it to you for free so I took it and uh, if I can get the stains out I could probably sell this for around $25 uh, here I got a giant uh, Columbia jacket. Uh, here's the brand Columbia, and it's a big, nice, warm jacket. It's brown, and the inside is this like green blue color. And I paid six dollars for it, and it'll probably sell for like thirty or so. So now we're jumping into the best finds. I got two. Um, this is the first one. This is a leather jacket. It is a vintage jacket. I'm not sure of the year. It's nice, genuine leather, uh, but the brand is very cool. Uh, this is an authentic members-only jacket, and uh, size 44. This is really cool. I always look for this kind of stuff when I look through leather jackets, and I finally found it, so I had to grab it. This brand is still making clothing, but uh, they've been making it for a long time. This is an old one. Um, so it's definitely old. It has a lot of like signs of use. Um, everything that could be stretched out is really stretched out, especially down here. This used to be like a, a elastic. It's not at all anymore. The inside's nice. It's just leather, and then it's this on the inside. Uh, it's a really nice jacket, but um, I was really excited to find it. I paid. Uh, let me think. I, I paid. Uh, yeah, it was fifteen dollars. No, 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 no. It was eighteen dollars. I paid eighteen dollars for this, and uh, I looked it up, and I'm gonna try to sell it for a hundred and fifty dollars because it is a very cool brand that I finally found. So, really cool. This is the next thing that I got. This is a Burberry coat. It is a women's coat, and. Here's the tag in the inside, it says Burberry, and then here is the pattern in the inside. If you guys remember, I got a Burberry coat before, it sold for like $300 or so, so really cool stuff to find out. You can find this kind of stuff, but you got to keep your eyes open. Um, yeah, it's in really great shape, uh, minus like the vintage like leathers coming apart, but found a receipt in here from the like early 90s so that's probably the last time it was worn um, yeah so here's the coat I paid fifteen dollars for it and my estimate is that it's gonna sell for around a hundred and twenty dollars so here's uh, part two everything that I, else that I picked up and it is a lot of work for me to do so I hope you guys watched part one too. Uh, if you didn't, uh, go back and watch my last one. That is jeans and shoes. I got some uh, really cool uh, shoes, especially. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.